Um, so, uh, hi, uh, thank you all. Come, thank you to all coming and joining us uh, online or physically. Uh, we have a um, now we have a, a presentation of uh, the new issue of Danarti, uh, which is dedicated to the research of the typology of the uh, micro rayons. Um, micro districts and uh, uh, our um, kind of, like our goal was to to think uh, to rethink uh, the value of this uh, heritage uh, and to understand uh, to understand its meaning nowadays and to think about its the ways of uh, the rehabilitation uh, and uh, of its rehabilitation and preservation uh, we will talk about the project acta project uh, in the which this issue was published in the frame of this uh, project we will talk about later with uh, Tina Tinkurganidze. Uh, she's a co-founder of Bineal, uh, and also she she works on this project. And um, now, <clears throat> and now uh, Elena Bashidze, one of the co-founder co of this uh, the Danarty itself and its history. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Annie and Tina, for inviting me. Um, I'll say a few words about how Danarty as the project started. Um, uh, in 2011, when Anna and I worked in our first major exhibition at the Center of Contemporary Art, PLC, uh, we started the zine um, Danarty. Danarty in Georgian means uh, additional document. And the reason why we started the publication was to come up with the alternative to an exhibition catalog. So we wanted to make a publication for the show we curated, but we didn't want to do it in a traditional way. Um, so instead of doing the catalog, we invited uh, scholars working in various media and disciplines who researched the subject, the main subject of the exhibition at times, which was memory of post-Soviet Georgia. Uh, so we invited the, these scholars who worked in psychology and physics and many other different non-art related disciplines to expand on the subject. So this, uh, this was how the project started. And after that we had a very long pause for around five years, we didn't work. Um, and in 2015 our co-editor Iru Georgiadze joined us with the second issue of Danarti, which was dedicated to the research of Georgian Dada um, in comparison to uh, Swiss, Swiss Dada. And that's how we um, got together again and decided to turn the zine into a, a series of publications. Um, the zine, as its design suggests, um, uh, is very much inspired by uh, early Soviet uh, samizdats, the culture of independent publications, um, uh, and that's how we uh, uh, are doing it. Uh, as a in in a that's how it mimics. Are supported by Constantin Zurich since 2016, and we're lucky to have a freedom to work on the zine whenever we would like to. So the zine is irregular, just the same way as those samistats were. Um, since 2016, our main sponsor is Constantin um, Zurich, and by by now we have produced 13 issues, all focusing on different subjects. Our three main interests are art and architecture and poetry from modernist period and Soviet period and contemporary. Um, Anna mainly works on architecture, Iru mainly works on modernism, whereas I mainly work on contemporary art. Um, and that's it. We also do, we, yeah, we do collaborate with various institutions um, and for instance with Architecture Biennale, it's our second time that we collaborate with the Biennale and we're very happy and honored to be part of such an important um, a thing, but we also um, collaborate with other institutions and collections in Europe or Georgia elsewhere. Somehow, um, Danart is the only Georgian bilingual magazine which is distributed um, worldwide, so you can 
um, fine done art in various cities of Europe, such as and bookshops in Europe and USA, such as Printed Meta New York, Moto Berlin, um, After Eight Books in Paris, uh, London Institute of Contemporary Art Bookshop, and Camden Art Center in London, as well as many other small bookshops, mostly with a focus on art publications, um, as well as in Georgia in various bookshops and public libraries in Kutaisi, Batumi, and Tbilisi. Um, Dynart is also online. It exists on the website. All the content is distributed for free and archived on the website, so everybody can reach it and read it for free. Um, whereas the printed issues are limited issues of from 300 to 500 copies each time. Um, we also participate on book art fair, art, art book fairs uh, such as Printed Meta. Um, Los Angeles and in MoCA at, in 2019, um, Volume Zurich, and we are also participating this year in February at the Printed Meta Online Art Book Fair. So um, I think that's that's it <laughs> to talk about in general about Dan Yeah, thank you, Elena. And now, uh, Tico, uh, can you tell us uh, 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 more about this uh, ACTA project? Uh, because like um, this issue was published uh, in this frame of this project uh, and me and Tico we were uh, working together uh, on the selection of the contributors and texts and uh, etc so can you hear us yes yes I can hear you thank you very much for uh, the introduction Elena and uh, Annie uh, and uh, thank you for uh, having such an interesting magazine uh, that um, now with the Tbilisi Biennial we're collaborating the second time. Um, and um, yes, I will tell shortly about the project and the idea why we wanted to make this issue about the micro districts or micro rayons. Uh, well, ECTAB is a project uh, which is a pilot project. Um, it's, uh, um, it's dealing with the topic of uh, urban periphery in uh, Eastern Europe. And then specifically within the project, we have uh, um, several partner countries and organizations uh, from Belarus, Ukraine, uh, Russia and Poland and Georgia. Uh, and uh, within the project, uh, which is now going towards the end, end of uh, this year, uh, we have realized um, several activities. Uh, we have uh, conducted uh, various lectures and uh, presentations in all these different cities and countries. And we have gathered quite a few um, like interesting uh, research uh, material that uh, we thought that would be interesting to publish. Um, and also beginning of this year, we have made a um, photo contest, an open call for photographs. Um, and we have uh, gathered an amazing um, um, collection of photos from, from Balkan countries till Central Asia, uh, which are specifically um, um, like within the topic of the micro districts. Um, and this was also an idea why we wanted to kind of make a collection of it and uh, um, publish it through um, uh, um, um, uh, like one of the uh, magazines like Dan RT because there, there, there is also another publication uh, which had, um, was uh, done by Connection School in Kiev and within the project we also plan a um, small book which will be published like beginning of next year. Um, I would like to maybe show you some photos and tell you more so you don't... Uh, watch me on a big screen but see some more interesting uh, context so i will try to share my screen um and show you the two winner projects uh, like one of the project is also in the um danarty magazine by jan hudozilov um 
Can you see my screen now? Yes. You can see the, so this is one of the winner uh, photos of the context. Con yeah. And uh, this is uh, another winner photo of uh, Rustavi by Jan, which is also in the Danarti magazine that um, you can see in the, uh, inside there, right? Which is also, I saw it in Annie's photos. I'm really looking forward to see the Danarti and have it uh, to feel it and read it and touch it. Um, yes, uh, I don't know, maybe there are some questions uh, or I could uh, explain a bit more or we can open up a discussion, um, however you like. Maybe you'll, there are already some questions in the audience. Uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe the history of this uh, project, like how it was uh, initiated and how it was developed, and mm -hmm. what's your like future plans despite of the publications which you mentioned. Um, yes, uh, well, I was not involved in the project from the beginning. Like I didn't develop the project from the start. Um, I entered it on a later stage. Uh, but now I'm the only one who's left uh, within the project and then I am finishing it. Uh, well, the story behind it is that um, there is in general lack of uh, interest uh, and um, research on the topic of uh, uh, the uh, peripheral uh, mass housing neighborhoods in, in uh post-socialist countries. So um, the idea was to kind of uh, uh, activate this topic on different levels, no? not only uh, uh, through um, students and through educational part, but also um, uh, bringing it to um, a decision-making level. Um, but of course, this is a small project. It's only like one and a half years. Uh, and uh, um, my idea is now to continue with this project. Uh, and uh, I'm already trying uh, to apply for new fundings. And I hope that it will work out next year. Uh, but before we have another very interesting thing planned, uh, which will be probably also opening next year, but will be planned this year. Um, it's an exhibition um, that uh, our inspiration are all these photos that we received, but also all the material and the text that we gathered for the books. So we're now trying to um, make an interesting concept for an exhibition and uh, open it uh, uh, next year when um, also the lockdown measures will be eased, like more, there will be more possibility to organize cultural activities. Um, we have also an um, uh, Instagram page where um, we're uploading uh, most of the photos that we have uh, received uh, during the open call. Uh, and uh, we will enrich uh, this collection as well. And we have also a Facebook group where we discuss about the topics, about the activities. Um, so I would say there is uh, already an important network uh, created um and um yeah slowly we see also some results um um within the project so i'm really happy about it mm -hmm. um yes maybe s some comments or questions from your side mm. uh, i don't know i don't <laughs> i don't think so uh, but uh, okay, Tina Tin, thank you. If, if if you want to add something, otherwise, <laughs> no. Thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. Yeah. I also see that uh, there um, one of the contributors of the magazine is also joining us. So maybe she has a question. I see her in the chat list. Ah, here she is. So 
Hello, Romea. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Uh, hi. <laughs> I was thinking to ask questions, so here you only embrace me actually to do so. <laughs> yes. First of all, thank you all uh, for inviting me to contribute actually to the magazine and actually being part of this program. I also join uh, as a, maybe as a member, uh, let's say as a like partner from Connection School. Uh, also within like, uh, let's say from the, like from the beginning when we all had meetings with the partners. I must say that maybe the one aspect which astonished me a lot, that there was a, a lot of, as you actually, Tina, think that was not a um, strong discourse or discussion on the topic of large housing estates. But we didn't actually, between the partners, trying to tackle that issues now between uh, Georgia, Ukraine, or Poland. So it's always within the country. So um, I would like to actually ask, because as I've seen, there was a lot of fruitful collaborations and exchanges, but maybe I'd like to ask, what is the plan for you for the next year or two years? Actually, how this idea of the collaborations and exchange of this actually knowledge between different partners, because as you as it was shown here, it was a lot of like in terms of range from NGOs to um, uh, pa to academic institu institution, which actually helps, no? Uh, rather to being maybe as I've seen it from my perspective was quite interesting because it was not really narrow to only academia or really only narrow to private sectors, but really trying to bring different agents and different sectors to talk about that even as a building awareness, which actually brought a lot of outcomes, as you've seen during ACT UP. Uh, so maybe I'm just I'm more curious, what is the forecast for you, like as a, your maybe personal, uh, let's say, ambitious with this project, what you learned it, actually after one and a half year of working on this project, what you learned it, what is important, actually what kind of key learnings and maybe recommendation can be after this long uh, project. Um, yes, thank you, Romea, for joining. I was not prepared, but uh, that was it's my okay. first. It's very informal uh, situation. Yeah. Um, well, um, for me, I don't think it's a large project. I think for this kind of topic, it's actually a small uh, period of time that uh, we had. Um, and I also think that uh, it should continue. If not, it will stay just as a one project that happened and then it has no continuation. So um, as I didn't start the project from the beginning, I kind of now made my own concept of what I'm interested in and how I would like to continue. Um, so... Um, I think slowly, like when, uh, if our project will uh, get financed, then I can uh, tell more about it because now it's uh, kind of a sketch. <laughs> so, um, but I, I would go more to the educational uh, um, direction and uh, involve uh, students more and um, we'll see what turns out of it. Um, Yes, so, but uh, yeah, of course I learned yeah. a lot uh, through collaborating and also like observing how this kind of neighborhoods are um, at the same time uh, uh, very, very different from each other, uh, even though they were planned, uh, some of them identically, uh, but how they changed uh, through the time and um, problems there are and how they are connected with the localities where where they are uh, situated um, so yes I think uh, so, but so just like small follow-up so I, I think yeah. like so um, so personal because that's what actually is interesting now that there was a similar project or a similar strategies but of course uh, the conditions which they are in it changed after, of course, nineties. After each mm -hmm. of the countries had own, let's say, political system and all struggle, local struggles. But I'm interested what you're seeing still as a common problems, as a main one after you know after this project. But also, I know you're doing PhD. So, what you think is the main uh, maybe um, common links between them, like as a priority, if you will have to say it in order to tackle or really address within this 
typology of the housing. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, what uh, we have in common <laughs> is uh, the lack of uh, civil initiative, like the social engagement uh, or of the local neighbors, I think. The, it still needed to, needs to be worked on. Um, and this problem of ownerships, because as it's so fragmented that uh, like uh, 50 different owners or 100 different owners, it's very difficult to make um, the decision-making process is very difficult to maybe change something in this block. No? So I think that's the thing that uh, we have in common, uh, for example, compared to Germany, where most of the housing is owned by some companies, no? state or private housing uh, um, real estate companies who um, renovate or do whatever changes uh, um, which is like more easier on that level than in our case because there are like too many actors involved. So I think that's something what, what unites all of these neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe are there are some people in uh, Birja, maybe there are some. That's mm, good. Not. No, we can. There, is no, there is no questions. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they will have questions after they will read. <laughs> yeah, then uh, <laughs> you're, they you're can write right. us. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you both. Thank you, Tina, Tina, and thank you, Romeo, for your contribution and for your question. Uh, and I would love to say thank you uh, for all the uh, for, uh, to all the country contributors like uh, Tina Tin, uh, Gurganizi, Alexander Formazov, uh, Philip Mauser, uh, Romia Murin, uh, Irak Likojlashvili. Uh, he is with us now, and uh, to Kuba Snobek, uh, with whom I made interview about his book uh, Belia Evo Forever. And mm -hmm. to Ian Chudo Zilov, um, uh, who's um, uh, and we, we printed his photo as a poster. So, uh, and uh, I would love to add that um, we will uh, upload everything online, so it will be uh, published online, so everyone can read and enjoy it. Now. <laughs> mm. yeah. Great! Yeah, we're really looking forward to read the magazine. Yes. Thank you. And thank you. Thank Good you. night. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.